Scrooge knew he was dead? Of course he did. How could it be otherwise? Hello everyone, Elias5891 here with another Contain Module tutorial. This time we are going over the subject of cryptography. Uh, and from my intro, uh, if you recognize Christmas Carol, then you've either done this module or you remember Christmas Carol, in which case, good on you. Uh, this module uh, looks like this. Does not require edge work, so we won't need to worry about that. And as far as the diffuser sees, this is a ginormous cryptogram. If you don't know what a cryptogram is, that is simply a sentence, statement, paragraph, what have you, where every occurrence of one letter is substituted for another letter. And that's what these are. You've got some sort of sentence, five letters which occur in the correct form of this sentence. So if you took this sentence, put it back into its standard written form, those five letters would be in it. And the job for the team is to click these five buttons in the order that the letters occur in the standard plain text. Not this crypto text, but the plain text. There's a couple different ways to do this. I think the original intent was that you actually solve this like it's a cryptogram. But, as it mentions here on the front page, all of the cipher text is from Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol via a substitution cipher. It says it's all sentences. That's not 100% accurate. It's all clauses. Uh, I'll get into the d distinction here in a second. Um, it does give you the hint that the letter E is always the letter E. Uh, letters never substitute for themselves, all punctuations removed, and you just need to hit them in correct order. Uh, also, some of the words turn out to be different colors. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, to my knowledge, it was never figured out why it did that originally. So let's scroll this down. Uh, this is all you get for your actual manual page, but it has this wonderful appendix, which is a little large. It is the uh, first, what, five, six paragraphs? of A Christmas Carol, and the text on our module is a cryptogram of one clause in this set. Here's how typically you'll see it done. As the diffuser, uh, let's take a small one to start, oh there are no small ones, uh, the diffuser, as opposed to actually giving the cryptogram itself, they will give the roughly how many words there are, preferably exact, but some people are a little okay with an estimate, and then the word lengths, the number of letters in each word, for the first four to five words. So this one, for example, notice spaces still break up words, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine words. And our word lengths are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, three, four. That should be enough to find us what we need. And the letters up at the top are Oscar Hotel India November September. So O H I N S Shin O. Now, trying to find some way to cryptogram this, some way to translate this is a little difficult. So what I would suggest starting out, we know there's eight letters in the first word of this clause. So we're going to look at the first word of each sentence. So after a period, after a question mark, after an exclamation point, beginning of a paragraph. Or clause, so we're also going to look after semicolons for a word that's eight letters in length. Uh, so quickly, and after you do this a couple times, you will learn to just pinpoint where those periods and commas are. Uh, we're looking for an eight-letter word to start. Scrooge, no. Of, no. How, Scrooge, Scrooge. Scrooge is seven, by the way. And, the, there, this, if, Scrooge, there, the, sometimes, that's nine, too long. It, O, oh, but, a, hard, secret, the, made, a, he, he, and, 
external. External is eight letters. E X T E R N A L. So let's check this one. This is eight. Then we want a four letter word, heat, three letter word, and cold, four letter word. And nine words total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is our phrase. Now granted, we also may have taken advantage of the fact that the diffuser may have said, hey, it starts with an E, because the E's don't change. That may have helped us get to that word external a little quicker. But either way, we've got what we need. Uh, for this first one, I'm actually going to retype this sentence. Uh, normally, I would not suggest this. So we need to find these letters in this text. And we want the first occurrence of each one. So here's the first O. Uh, here's the first H. Uh, here's the first I here. The first N. And the first S is somewhere on past where we kind of cut off the thing. Uh, there's the S. We cut out a few letters, but... That's good enough. So, the order that the letters first occur, is and this is the answer we're going to put in, is November, Hotel, Oscar, India, Sierra. That's green. Uh, now notice there's no sort of back or cancel button on this. If you click a letter wrong or double click one, you're going to take a strike for it. So be careful when you click. Uh, let's do another one. Let's do this one over here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 words. Uh, word lengths are 1, 6, 4, 3, 2. And my letters are Foxtrot Sierra Charlie Whiskey Hotel, F-S-C-W-H. So again, we look for a beginning of a word or phrase of one letter. So this should be easy. Um, Scrooge of how Scrooge and the there if. Da -da -da -da, Scrooge there the it. But oh, A. A, that's one letter. Squeezing is nine, so it's not this one. Hard the made a frosty rhyme was on one six four three two one six four three two. This is the phrase we want. A frosty rhyme was on his head and on his eyebrows and his wiry chin. Now I'm not gonna do quite what I did last time. Uh, what I'll usually do is I'll keep the letters kind of next to me so I can see them. And I'll go through and I'll be like, okay, let's just start looking at letters. Which ones do I need? A, F. I need an F, so that's my first one. F. R -O -S. There's an S. That's one of the letters I need. R, I, M, E, W. W is one of my letters. And when I get down to the last two, I can kind of remember. I'm looking for a C or an H. C or an H. There's an H. H. And then the C has to be down below there. Uh, first one is here on chin. So my answer is FSWHC. FSWHC. Uh, let's get one wrong just to see. Just standard X doesn't give you any sort of extra hints. Uh, we'll do one more together. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 words again. Word lengths are 4, 3, 5, 2. Letters are G, R, I, A, V. Golf Romeo India Alpha Victor. Uh, looking for something starting with four. And the there. This must. Nope. Four four. If Scrooge there the sometimes it oh but a three four five two hard and sharp as da da da. And again, remember I say these are phrases, so they'll cut off at the semicolon, even though it's not technically the end of a sentence. So, looking for letters in my thing, H, A, A is a letter I need, H, A, R, R is a letter I need, D, 
A, I already have N-D-S-H-A-R-P-A-S-F-L-I. I is one I need, so I'm looking for G or V. Flint from which no steel had ever V. Struck out G, generous fire. A-R, I-V-G. Alright, uh, so let's blank out the screen, leave you just this text here. Uh, and we'll do two more. I'll let you do, uh, we'll, uh, let's do ones, let me pull up a new bomb, let's not do ones you had a chance to see. So, new bomb, I'll actually give you three, those will be all three modules. So we'll do three cryptograms, give you a chance to pause, solve it for yourself, and then we'll take a look at the answer. Uh, for the first one, we have a word count of 15. Letter count 16432. That should sound familiar. We did this one in the samples. Letters are T, B, M, R, F, Tango, Bravo, Mike, Romeo, Foxtrot. Second one, 4, 8, 12, 15 words, counts 4, 3, 5, 2, <laughs> all right, uh, letters are Papa, Echo, Victor, Golf, Oscar, P-E-V-G-O, and our last one is 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 words. Uh, counts of five two five five, and letters are L Town, Lima Tango Oscar Romeo November L Town. All right, go ahead and pause the video, uh, and let's see what we get for the sentences and the letter orders. All right, let's see how you did. See if you match up what I got for the first one. Fifteen words, one six four three two. TBMRF, that's this one here. Nope, oh, nope, that's this one here on the back. Uh, we had this one earlier. The phrase is the one starting with a frosty rhyme. It's here. A frosty rhyme was on his head and on his eyebrows and his wiry chin. Letters were TBMRF, so if we go through it, AFF is your first one, R is your second one, OSTT is your next one. Looking for B and M to finish, there's M and then B. F R T M B. F R T M B. Let's look at the second one. Fifteen words. Four three five two. P E V G O. Uh, this one we also actually had. Uh, this one's right up here. Hard and sharp as flint. So on, so on. Uh, so if we look at that, H A R D A N. D S H A R P is your first one. Sharp. A S F L I N T F R O. O is next. M W H I C H N O S T E E L Seal. Need a V and a G. Had ever V. Struck out generous G fire. P O E. BG, piece of gold video game. P O E V G. Last one, L Town. 5255 five, five, uh, for a total of 12 words. Uh, this one, we hadn't hit yet, so I thought this one was a good one I had. It was a kind of an early one, though. There it stood years afterwards above the warehouse door, Scrooge and Marley. So letters, T, well there's the T we need, H-E-R-E-I-T-S-T-O is a letter I need, O-D-Y-E-A-R-S-A-F-T-E-R-W for after words, A-R-D-S, looking for the L in the end to finish, above the warehouse door, Scrooge, and in Marley L. So, Town L. All
And that is how you go about doing cryptography. Now, some people will actually translate it. Some might have said, hey, on this last one here that was there, it stood years. They might say, five-letter word, uh, E in fifth, third and fifth character, maybe even quicker than looking for a 5255 letter schema. I uh, also wanted to clarify again, you've got to look for clauses as well as sentences. So one sentence could be hard and sharp as flint from which no steel had ever struck generous fire. A separate thing that may pop up on the box is secret and self-contained and solitary as an oyster. Or we may see uh, made his eyes red, his thin lips blue, and spoke out shrewdly in his grating voice. Periods? Uh question marks, I don't think there are any exclamation points, yeah there are, exclamation points, or semicolons indicate the end of a clause or sentence, which means, hey, this is the end of this particular option of words that may pop up, go to the next word, that's another set of starting point, it's another starting point. Uh, but this is cryptography, uh, this one, practice is good, that's all I'm going to say, practice on this one is good. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions on this or anything else, please leave them down below in the comment section down below. Otherwise, this has been Elias. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and don't explode. Bye, guys.